Hello everyone. So new update. I have replaced my AGV K6 with a new helmet. And the helmet in question is the HJC Arfa 11 Carbon. This is my gonna be my new vlogging helmet. Uh, I just ordered a chin mount from chinmounts.com. Probably the best place to go. I've they've done me really well. I like them a lot. They've served me well in my K1 and K6. So I'm gonna continue using them. Got me a carbon fiber helmet. Uh, the K6 is a carbon aramid mix composite and very light. I like light helmets. I don't like heavy helmets. It, I already have bad strains on my neck from the army and other work related incidents. <laughs> and I'm really impressed with this helmet. It's really light, uh, beautiful finish, very beautiful. I'm pretty sure you can see the weaves on it and the emboss HAC logo and then the R. Really like it. I transferred over my Cardo Pack Talk already. Uh, only thing I am missing is the chin curtain. The guy at Cycle Gear admitted fault, so he is going to ship me the chin curtain free of charge. He just needed my detailed information. I really do like these mouse wheel vents. Uh, all the way back right now is closed. No, so all the way back is open, all the way forward is closed and you can do an increments. Only bad thing I found is the rattle on the spoiler right here. Fit is good on my head. Vents are easy to use. You got two chin, two chin vents. You got a brow vent right here really easy to use. I think this one's going to be the hardest one to use just because it's really small. It's just like a little tab that you slide left and right. These are going to definitely going to be the easiest. Popping this up, there's a ratchet system for the visor. A lot of, a lot of tension on it. So you really got to put some force on it and it will stay in place. I did found that out on my ride. I did test ride this already. Already has tear off posts. So if you're going to hit the track, you have your tear off screen does come with two visors. You got the smoke one, then you got the clear one. And I found that it is actually pretty easy to swap visors. There's like this little tab here and you'll see a wording engraved on there. It says inject, eject. And I found it pretty easy. Um, it pops right off. Then of course you just pop it back in, release the uh, tab and you're good to go. Really nice to have the QRS system, the quick release system for your cheek pads. Cheek pads are really nice. I think they're memory foam. It feels like memory foam, so it's comfortable. The D-ring I didn't really like too much. One ring is actually smaller than the other. I'm used to the traditional D-ring. These are not even D-rings. I don't know if they're made of titanium, but they're probably aluminum. But I don't know if you can see that. One is smaller than the other. I found cinching the strap was a bit difficult. There was a lot of tension, but I will make do. I really do like this helmet. Uh, really, really nice helmet. You do have some reflectivity right here. I don't know if that serves a purpose. I don't know if I'm, I can't see behind me when I'm riding, so we'll find out if other drivers see me. You have an option for their comm system. They partnered up with Senna, but I'm just gonna stick with my Cardo. And it is a really light helmet, picking it up, but in comparison to my K6, it is a little heavier, not by much, but it is noticeably heavier than my K6. So this will be the new vlogging helmet. Once I get the chin mount, we'll probably go through on how I set my helmets up for vlogging. Really easy and I've done it enough times that I could do it by my eyes closed. I can tell this is a pretty quality helmet for price. I paid like $579 for it. And after tax, it came out to like $630, something like that. But I'm impressed with it so far. First time dealing with HAC, I was gonna buy another AGV helmet, but I didn't really like the K3s or the K5. I don't, and I tried the K3, I'm not really impressed with it. I don't really like drop down visors. Just the simple fact I wear glasses. 
And with the K6, it's not very glasses friendly. Um, with the HJC, there is little channels that makes it glasses friendly, which is really nice. Got your breath reflector, which doesn't work. We all know that. And yeah, I'm really impressed with it. I test rode it. I was really, 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 really liking the helmet. So I'm glad I replaced my K6, finally. So this will be the new helmet from now on. And I don't know, for, if you're looking for carbon helmets, I definitely recommend the HJC R11 Carbon, kind of a mouthful to be honest. And the other other alternative I looked at was the Scorpion XL R1. I tried that when I was in Oregon. Didn't really like the fit. It didn't really fit my head very well. This one fits my head really well. And yeah, I love the fact that it comes with a second visor and a pin lock insert, a pin lock 120 Max, which amazing. It won't fog up as easily as like the Pinlock 70. But yeah, if you're looking for a helmet, I definitely recommend this. I This is like kind of a real world review. I have not looked at all the specs. I'm just going based on like what people are actually looking for in a helmet. And I don't know, just realistically, instead of just looking at reviews, I definitely like, like it at first impressions. We'll see what happens in three months uh, if it's still a good helmet. I'm pretty sure it will be. It's a pretty solid helmet, except for this for this rattle. But yeah, we'll find out in three months. So what do you think about the helmet? Yay, nay, you like the carbon? The only thing I don't like about it, carbon finish wise, is that it's a fingerprint magnet because it is glossy. So that is a bad thing if you care about that kind of stuff. I don't really care because it's gonna be handled one way or another, just like that. So ladies and gentlemen, the Arfa 11, Carbon by HJC.